Bloodlines are important in the standard bread industry. So it was no surprise when John Simpson Jr. followed his famous father into the sport of harness racing back in 1961. For the younger Simpson was simply carrying on the family tradition. I'm uh, the fifth generation of horse trainers. My, uh, my father's great grandfather came from Ireland. He was a, he, he trained and rode thoroughbreds. And my grandfather, who I was very close to all my life, he, he had a livery stable in Chester, South Carolina. He also raced horses on the side. And then, of course, my father, you know, has done everything and harness racing could be done. So I had, I really had all the best. The younger Simpson first came into national prominence in 1970, when at the age of 27, he became the youngest driver of a Hamiltonian winner with Timothy T. Simpson also guided the destinies of Classical Way, one of the great race mares of all time. But no matter how many winners he trains and drives, Simpson is well aware of the giant shadow cast by his dad. 1957, he won every major stake, Little Brown Jug, Hamiltonian, Philly races, uh, led Grand Circuit, uh, leading driver at Roosevelt, uh, Yonkers, things like that. And I don't think anybody will ever duplicate that, so I've just got to kind of just try to do the best I can do and, and uh, I not try to compare myself to my father because I, I never can. John Simpson Sr. can take pride in the fact that his son is carrying on the family tradition and the sport of harness racing. This is John Henderson reporting.